couple of days back, one of the students from the Estet Masterclass faced a very interesting interview question, guys, which was, how do you use an existing launched browser for your automation? Now, we know that whenever we're going to write web driver WD equal to new Chrome driver, what is going to happen? A new browser session is going to be launched. But the interviewer is saying that, hey, you're supposed to launch a new browser. You're supposed to use an existing browser session for your automation. So, we're going to understand how to do this particular stuff in today's two minutes Tuesday series. So without wasting time, guys, let's get starting. So over here, guys, I've written a very basic, simple Selenium script. We are trying to launch the Chrome browser session and we are trying to visit certain pages. So you know that when I'm going to right click run as Java application, what is going to happen? It's technically just going to launch the browser for us and we are going to visit the respective pages. But this is what we don't want to do. All right, so let's close this particular chap. And the first thing that we will do now is we will be going into our file explorer. So let's go to the file explorer. Over here, we will go to the exact location where your Google Chrome is installed. So I'm going to go to the C drive. Inside C drive, we going to have program files. Inside program files, we will go to Google folder. Inside Google folder, we're going to go to the Chrome folder. Inside your Chrome, you have applications, and this is where your uh, Chrome is installed. Okay, this is the exe file. Now, what we will do, we will try to open this particular folder with the help of git bash. All right, and uh, you can use your local uh, Windows command prompt also, but I'm going to use git bash. Okay, now the first thing that we should always do is we need to delete all the Chrome sessions. Okay. You might not be able to see the Chrome sessions in front of you, but there will be some weekend, uh, Chrome sessions which will be up and running. So we need to delete everything. And how to delete that part is pretty simple. I'm simply going to say uh, task kill task kill what? 2 forward slash f, 2 forward slash im chrome dot exe. All right. And then I'm going to say sleep for probably three seconds just so that once everything is deleted you know like all um the sessions will be deleted it's going to pause for three seconds and then it is going to give me the new terminal so that i can execute the command all right now whenever we want to use an existing browser for automation okay we need to run the chrome browser in debugger mode so how to do that particular part guys you're going to simply say Take this particular chrome.exe file and we're going to pass the parameter, something like a remote hyphen, uh, hyphen debugging, hyphen port and port number. I'm going to probably give something like nine triple do. And then we will be giving the user hyphen data hyphen directory equal to in double quotes, something like C colon forward slash chrome hyphen debug. All right. Then the most important thing that we are supposed to give over here is going to be the profile directory. So I'm going to give double hyphen profile directory equal to profile. Observe carefully profile two. So over here I have written crow. All right, we need to put a dot exe over here. So let's put the dot exe. All right. Double hyphen remote hyphen debugging port equal to nine triple two. We are going to launch the Chrome browser in debugging mode at port number nine triple two. And the user data directory where all the information will be stored and loaded from, it's going to be something in C drive, okay, forward slash Chrome debug. You can give any location. I'm giving this one. And the next one is going to be the profile directory, which profile it is supposed to pick. All right. The moment I hit enter, observe carefully. The moment I'm going to hit enter, you will notice that a browser is getting launched, all right? And this particular browser, guys, over here, already logged in. I'm logged in as tech with Jatan, all right? Now, I want to use this particular browser for my automation. So how to do that part? We're going to use Chrome options in our script. I'm going to say Chrome options, options, equal to new Chrome options, okay? And then I'm going to simply say options, which does not, okay? It's not giving me as a control shift. Oh, fix the formatting. Options dot set experimental options debugger address and 
the auction's value will be your local machine port number 9222. So simply 127.0.0.1 colon 9222. All right. And then I'm going to take this particular option and I'm going to pass it over here. Life is good. Okay. Control S. Save it. Let's save this. Let's click on play button. And observe carefully over here. It's actually using this particular session. Okay. All right. Now observe carefully. Right now I'm on Instagram. If I'm going to click on the play button one more time. Google. All right. YouTube. Okay. Instagram. All right. That's it. All right. So this is how you use an existing browser session and you can automate it with the help of WebDriver. You're supposed to launch the browser with the help of debugger mode.